Hey coders and welcome to the brand newest playlist of our Google Apps Script course. In this season we're going to be covering the URL Fetch service starting out with this introductory playlist on the URL Fetch app. In my opinion the URL Fetch service is one of the most powerful services available to you within your Apps Script tool belt and yet it is heavily underutilized. So I am extremely enthusiastic to present to you this playlist and by the end of it I hope you are just as enthusiastic to utilize the URL fetch service within your own projects. So what is this service? Well it is the service used to make HTTP requests and if you're unfamiliar with that is basically this is how you communicate over the internet. So you can communicate uh, a lot of different ways, right? So if you're, say, trying to get the content of a website, let's say you go online and you type in www.facebook.com, basically that you are issuing a get request to Facebook. And you're saying, please return to me all of the data in the display in the HTML code and CSS code and JavaScript code that goes along with your website. So again, that is one way you can issue a GET request. Similarly, you can also issue a POST request. So a POST request is basically if you want to send some data to the, to the Facebook server. So let's say that you are uh, uploading a photo on Instagram and you have a new photo. So you would upload the new photo and send that photo to the Instagram servers and then that would modify say the data on that server. So that is a post request and URL fetch can do a lot more different types of requests. It can do put, patch, delete, options, and head. However, get and post seem to be the most popular. Similarly with issuing these requests you can also receive the HTTP response. So like I said if you say you, you issue a get request to Facebook you will receive the response which is all of the content that Facebook wants to present to you uh, which is usually in the form of an HTML document and everything that goes along with it. So as you can see already this is very powerful because all the data basically that's on the internet that's publicly available you can access using the URL Fetch app. So before we can get our hands dirty with the URL Fetch app, we first need to authenticate it within our own project. So let's do that right now. The easiest way to authorize the URL Fetch app to run on your own account's behalf is simply to try to run a method that's on the URL Fetch app parent class. So we've been doing this before in all of the previous playlists, so there's nothing new here. We'll just type in URL fetch app. And then if we hit the period button, if we get this list of methods, then we are doing it all correctly. If you do not get this pop up with all of these methods, then I would suggest try looking at this URL fetch app. It all needs to be spelled correctly. And then likewise, you need to have the U, the F, and the A all capitalized and everything else lowercase. Again, it is case sensitive. So we'll just pick out any old random method. Let's just pick this one right here. And if we save it, if we now run it, then we are going to get our authorization dialog just like this. We'll review the permissions like we've done in the past. We'll choose an account. And it says the app isn't verified. That is okay, let's go to it. And it says season 11 wants to connect to an external service. Again, when you utilize the URL Fetch app, you are connecting to external services all over the internet. Whichever resource you want to get, you can connect to it using the URL Fetch app. So it says, it says make sure you trust season 11, and I do because I am writing it right now, so I'll say allow. And if everything ran successfully, which it did, uh, we get a reference error right here, but that is okay, we just haven't defined our URL. But right now, the URL Fetch app is now authorized to act on our own account's behalf. So everything is set up correctly for the future videos of this playlist. So guys, I am uh, super excited and I hope you are just as excited to progress through this uh, season. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you in the very next episode.